my introduction to all of this was completely spontaneous. Unfortunately, I didn't have any um, context or um, no point of reference at all. And surprisingly, very surprisingly, I've been, I feel like I've been embraced. There was a effortlessness of just sinking into this. And it felt so soothing. And it's so rich that I feel like I, I could spend one entire day just with every person in the program because everyone's so interesting, rich in the experience of what they're having and the amount of learning that I got from that. And the fact that all of, all of that is just basking and soaked in ego's teachings and it's, it's, it's too much so much is like infinite levels of knowledge being conveyed and you don't find that on just don't find that easily it's been a beautiful development in the way that i first met igor on youtube and um, was very drawn to his energy. His delivery was so direct to my heart that I was compelled to be with him in person. I see now, after the seven days of uh, sharing space and meals and meditation and um, heartfelt uh, discussions, mm, why it's called immersion, why it's not called retreat or any other thing. It's because we immerse and steep in this just um, beautiful, spontaneous unfolding of life that's, that's real, that's real life. Es una bendición inconmensurable. No, no puedo creerlo. No, no puedo creer que tenga la gran fortuna de, de tener a este maestro en mi camino. De que haya entrado en mi vida en una forma totalmente natural, orgánica y, y que no solo empezó este camino hace un tiempo, no, no muy largo, sino que ahora tengo la enorme dicha de poder experimentar su presencia y sus enseñanzas en la tierra que me vio nacer. y donde tengo tantas relaciones de amor, de luz. Entonces es una suerte en muchos niveles, no solo para mí, sino también para la tierra que amo y la gente que llevo en mi corazón. Entonces que él esté en México, ya haberlo encontrado, ya nacer al mismo tiempo que él vive es una gran bendición, pero además que, que esté aquí, al lado de estas hermosas montañas, y siento que la, que la tierra va floreciendo con su paso. Sí. 
algo que me sucedía mucho desde que, desde que despertó Kundalini fue que me sentía en tanta beatitud y en tanto éxtasis que volteaba y veía a todo el mundo y lo único que quería era que todo el mundo estuviera en ese mismo estado. Pero pues no es así la realidad. No, no todos están en este proceso. Y hay muchos en este proceso más sin una guía adecuada o sin un entendimiento adecuado de qué está pasando, se, simplemente la olla se te va a otro lado por completo. Y convivir con, con más personas que están en este mismo bliss y en este mismo regocijo de la vida que dices, mmm, qué rico el aire, qué rico el sol, qué... Que, 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 que simplemente todo es éxtasis y, 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 y tu corazón está abierto hacia todo y poder relacionarte con gente que está también en este estado y en este proceso es una joya es una gran joya una gran bendición I, I value most in this work knowing that I'm receiving guidance from someone who has fully um, given themselves to the process. I think after having my experience and being in, you know, somewhat of a Red Cross state and <laughs> just kind of needing some direct, concrete guidance and someone um, in the most loving way possible to shepherd me through this process. Having someone like Igor um, has been a lifesaver for me because it's given me teachings to understand what's happening, but then also I feel like it's fully equipping me to go home and, and add on to it and, and build on to it. And um, I think to, on top of that, be able to have that type of teacher and that type of training and have that in such a protected container, I think just provides an experience to, to really hone in on, on getting the most and the best out of, out of everything that Igor and, um, you know, really digging into this work has to offer, yeah. I've been seeking and asking questions flailing about in many geographical places and in many different modes of, of, of teaching and spiritual pursuits and so many questions and very, very few answers. In fact, I've been told, stop asking. Don't ask that. Don't be that. And here I can be and ask whatever I want and say whatever I want and be accepted. I was here 53 years ago, pregnant with my son. I never thought I would come back to this immersion and be, perhaps I've been pregnant all my life to be birthed here in a new way. <laughs> yeah. 